Welcome back everyone to Pontos Fab and Hobbies. Today uh, I am going to do the follow-up from the Azathoth uh, concept design for painting. We're going to do some paint through of the uh, of the miniatures from this set. So uh, first thing, I'll walk through the, the, the miniatures again and uh, I'll just talk about what I'm going to do for the priming step and then um, uh, I'll do some priming steps uh, with a spray can and airbrush, and then we can, um, and then we'll move on to the color design palette from them. So I'm going to baseline them this way, get assembly line it. So starting out, let's. Uh, well, first of all, I'm just going to use a flat black spray can, uh, and then depending on the the color palette, I may use uh, this surface gray as the prime. So either the flat back or the surface gray, and then um, I'll use my Zenithal priming with a with a white. So flat white also. So then, um, okay. So first, there's uh, first there's Azathoth, and I think we, if you watched my um, video on the concept design, I'm going to go with a kind of cosmic uh, paint job, like almost you can see the galaxy inside of the eyes. So I'm going to kind of do that, and and I'm I'm debating on the color palette, but uh, we can decide later. But I think I will do a, a black a black. Uh, prime for this. Uh, these these uh, dimensional shamblers, these guys will, uh, I, I will use that. There was a great reference photo, uh, one of the designers there. Uh, I will use that. I'll show you the link later, but these guys have great details. They're kind of kind of cool. Uh, next one, there was uh, there was a few designs I liked on this. I really liked the pink design. This might be a gray prime because I think I may go with light colors for this. And then I'll still do the Zenithal priming on the top just to catch the bones on the hand. I think I saw that, but there was that one with the Taco Bell. And I was thinking to maybe remove one of these figures in one of them and have him broken in half in one in each hand. So I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, Elder Things. Uh, I really want to inspire these by the uh, the sort of that box cover of Eldritch Horror and a couple of the concept uh, images that I reference images I, I pulled. Again, I'm not sure if I'll do the gray or the black. I might do a mix of both with these. I might do one one gray and two black and see how it comes out. I I'm not sure if the if I need to do the light coverage, I think with the Zenithal priming, it should give the lightness on the top. So we'll see. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll do an experiment, two black and one gray. And then finally, I think this will be a gray prime because I was looking at the light purple, like a color out of space color for these. So uh, I think I will do the gray with a white Zenithal prime on this only because uh, if I use a light color, it'll, be, it'll, it'll pop much easier. Okay, so let's get to uh, spraying. Like I mentioned, I'll, I'll be using a flat, flat black prime, and I'll be using these. Uh, I'm using a skull color uh, paint primer, primer coat. I'll set up the primer in the uh, air gun as well, and uh, we'll meet you over there. Thanks. Yes, I'm using a uh, flat black shaker can here. Uh, you know, when I was spraying it, I was thinking that it was looking way too thick of a coat but actually that the matte paint dries up pretty flat and it looks pretty solid you'll see later on that it looks nice and clean it was just trying to get the coverage behind all those tentacles so uh, yeah and then I'll do, we'll just kind of shake her through all these quickly I decided just to uh, go with the flat black base primer and then the gray the Zenithal prime. I, I, I said I was going to experiment, but I, I decided against it and just went with the. With the gray. So, yeah, now I'm getting guys set up. Just using a, some double stick tape and uh, mounting it. So I can just move that piece around a little more easily and try to get all of them. And then I, I want to try to get through this quick. So I just uh, 
loaded six of them up here and just kind of rotate them all. Cover just pretty good. Had to kind of flip underneath a couple times. But yeah, here you can see the primer, primer is nice and flat. That's, I'm okay with that shaker pen. And as you guys are going to see when I do the Zenith Hall Prime, I'm definitely not ready for airbrush. <laughs> You're gonna just wait for it. Yes, I'm going to use this uh, skull collar uh, surface gray. And I'm going to airbrush that on. Here it comes. Ready? Watch. I slow mo it too. It comes in. Gonna spray. How shaky. And then, wait for it. Uh, <laughs> what? We could just barely misses. Okay. So yeah, I definitely had to clean up a little after that, but yeah, barely missed it right there. But uh, I cleaned up the, the the wet spots a bit on the. On the yeah, airbrush and then kind of got my composure for the rest of it. Uh, it's a little bit windy that day, but it was okay. I think I, I'm happy how they came out. I mean, this is probably my third set of models on painting. So uh, I decided to go with a, a little bit more of the highlights just to catch all of those brain like domes on the back. I, I think it worked out pretty well. Uh, you'll kind of see it in summer. Yeah, and I in in the uh, in my concept design video, I, I, I said I was going to do these dimensional shamblers a certain way, but uh, I ended up just doing them quick and simple. And then these uh, servitors of the outer gods, they also have that kind of bubbly. It's like a, uh, a just lumpy lumpy space princess. Okay, I had a little bit of trouble there with the uh, with the uh, with the airbrush, but you know, actually, I thought it was kind of cool in the end because I, although you know, having blotchiness, this is such a big lumbering figure. Uh, I think when I did the prime, I kind of I kind of will be fine with the covering of it, but but just got a little gray, a little bit of gray on the top. Still have the black on the undercoat, so I think it's going to be fine. My elder things, again, they're mostly blackened underneath and they've got a good gray and some of the detail comes out in the in the mouth here. So they're looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, these guys, I really like the bone structure having a, a highlight of the gray on it. So you can see the, the, the ligaments kind of jump out. I kind of flipped the angle a bit to allow it for you can see the bones really jump out, and then obviously the under, undercarriage is, is that. And then um, dimensional shambler is the same thing. Just kind of did the one angle, sprayed it from the side, uh, the 45 degree, and then also these guys. So I'm pretty happy how they came out. Um, so next step will be doing the painting. Yeah, so you see I've got a kind of base coat on. Uh, pretty good coverage, just kind of was messy with it, but get some detail later. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the elder things. Just get a good base coat on. I'm gonna go with uh, 
with sand kind of color, desert sand. I thought it was kind of reminds me, like I remembered in the, I had mentioned in the uh, in the concept video that the uh, I'm going to go for that cover the mountains of madness from the Eldritch Horror box. Yeah, so here you can see I'm going to just use some plain white and uh, I'm going to use uh, Phoenician purple, Citadel Phoenician purple. And like I said, I'm going to kind of go with the Lumpy Space Princess uh, uh, style for the servitors of the Outer Gods. I was thinking to leave the flutes to be the same purple color, but I think I'm going to paint them white so or, or gold or silver. I'll, I'll see when we, when we get to them. So now you can see uh, Azathoth is com coming together. I, I had messed up a bit. I, I, I veered away from that um, cosmic. I wasn't able to have the skill to pull it off, but I think this is a good look for him. Um, I did go out in to the hobby shop and I grabbed uh, some clear acrylic and I'm going to really focus on the eyes. I, I kind of reworked the eyes a few times. You can see it when we get to it. But yeah, so far it's looking good. Now adding some more details to every all the different figures, some refinement. I actually broke the hobby knife when I did it, but I just kind of wedged it down there and didn't want to break it. So it was more like kind of prying it up and then cutting a bit and prying it up. The soft plastic on this kit, um, on these miniatures, makes it pretty easy to to mod them. So I'm going to break it any second now. But yeah, I think it's fun to, to experiment a little. I think um, this is the most experimenting I've done so far, even though I'm kind of copying some templates for the colors, but uh, just trying things out. This is like the way you learn new things. So I, I encourage anyone who wants to pick this hobby up to try it. Okay, I think he's free from the model. And uh, we're gonna see throughout the video, the progression of the, yeah, there's a knife broken. And you'll see this guy, here he is. He's going to go into the mouth of the Star Vampire. I did like there that video I saw, uh, saw some clip of uh, someone who has a similar paint job that I'm uh, inspired by here. They had a Taco Bell cup. I thought that was pretty, pretty funny. So <laughs> this is kind of a homage to that. There he is in the mouth. Yeah, these are quite horrific. Looking. And now he's painted a little bit. Just got some flesh color on him. Zoom him in. He doesn't look too happy. I think I'll. I gotta find the right position to put put him in. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'll glue him in just yet. I'm kind of waiting for the right position. So I'm going to take a look at it and make sure I finish up everything else. So, but yeah. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit more painting and then uh, check you back here.
Okay, so now we've got quite a bit of detail across. Uh, you can see the eye has the coats on it, and as I thought, if I've done a few coats of the clear acrylic. Uh, older things in the back there are taking good shape. I think I want to go back to the brown color. A little victim of the star va vampires there. I tried those purple legs on the elder things. Oh, yes, Lumpy Space Princess uh, servitors looking good. Dimensional shamblers. I was kind of demotivated on them a little bit. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll touch them up later. But yeah, we'll go back in. I'm adding some uh, white highlights and some blood splatter on the star vampires. Uh, and then I started to do the flutes. Uh, did a little more dry brushing with the sand over the blue that I already did to kind of have the blue be in the deep recesses and the sand color to be in the sort of top edges. And then uh, I know I always say I'm not a detail guy, but slowly, slowly you start to become a detail guy. I've got some um, Gundam liner uh, that I'm going to just use. I overpainted the, too thickly the flute holes, so I'm just going to dab a little bit of this into the flute holes and uh, just kind of make them jump out so and then I did go with the uh, one flute would be white and one flute would be uh, silver and one flute would be gold I just kind of I just went with it So yeah, I think I'm going to stop the video here. I think the figures are in a pretty good spot. Probably will do some more work to them later, but uh, uh, hey, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, if you like what we're doing here, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, also, uh, we've got uh, Patreon below, so if you are like to support us, uh, your Patreon would really help. And I've got some other videos and content coming behind the scenes, some polls. Uh, some special offers down there. I uh, will be doing a massive priming and Zenithal prime of my Cthulhu Death May Die next. I uh, would like to do another Cthulhu Wars uh, game playthrough and um, wrap up Cthulhu Month with um, some more playthroughs. Uh, just because Cthulhu Month is coming to end, I'll still be playing all of these Cthulhu War games. So uh, stay tuned to the channel and uh, see some more playthroughs. Thanks a lot for making it this far in the video and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.